Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? I restart our sand thing. All right. We have been trying to make these shorter. So today we're going to officially try to finish before the sand is over. So that means... We also have no idea how long this goes. I have no idea. We don't have a clue, but we're going to go for like a 20 minute (laughs) podcast because... Today is a special day. Very special day. Very special. Not just for Joey and I, but for our families, really. Yeah, yeah, Um, absolutely. For our kids. There's just been so much fruit that's come out of a day like today. Yep. Seven years ago. Crazy. So that was 2016. Um, September 1st, Joey and I were hired at the same church and we spent our entire first day. Entire first on day. On payroll, uh, rearranging our office. Deeply apologize while spring that <laughs> the entire day of your tithe money went exactly. into us rearranging your <laughs> <Yes>. office space. <laughs> um, but have you know, it did not look good, okay? It did good not working look good. space has to be good. <laughs> in our defense, there were L-shaped desks in a very <laughs> tiny room. <laughs> and in our defense, we did the whole day, the whole day, changing it went to lunch had ideas came of back, how we yeah, could do came it back to- <laughs> came back changed it more which if you think about it a lot of our daily life today looks exactly it's like that all right that's all right <laughs> um and then we come back and we keep changing it and then we, we get to the end of the day yeah we're sitting on our desk yeah in the exact stinking position that it started out at right and at that moment we just said, i looked over at you and i said why did they even let us do this? And I said, this was that such, was such a bad idea. And then we looked at each other and said, did we just become best friends? Do you want to do karate in the garage? Yeah, let's do it. Then we started laughing. And then we started laughing. And, and then, that's where it all started. And then we invited our wives to go out to Chipotle. And yes, I think the moment when we said yeah. that to each other in the office was like, okay, maybe we can hang out. Yeah. Because actually we didn't like each other. No, 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 no. We didn't, which I believe, I don't know, We, you guys can correct us, but I believe most best friend relationships, just closeness, like start out of this, like, I don't like that. I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy. There's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with it. It's because we see ourselves. Right. (laughs) I see. Just points to our dysfunction. Nah, I don't like him. (laughs) But we actually got, we knew that we already had some of the same interests in music. Like United Pursuit was something that like we kind of bonded over. Right, right. Yeah. Well, it it just kind of let me know who you were as a person, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, so definitely it was, it was, it was definitely a weird turn of events for sure. Yeah. We invite our wives out, yeah. um, which if you are, have been married, if you've had friends and then get married, yep. you know, that joining friendships with your wife is like a tough thing, yep. right? Yep. You're yep. friends yep. with maybe your guy friends and they get married to their wives and then you try to like pair them up with your wife and it just doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't click. Yeah. So, yeah. And so we little did. They know that I was praying because I was coming up from Bradenton area from college. It was working there and you were already plugged in there. She was plugged in there, like all that world. And so I was praying that as I kind of was transitioning to Wellspring, that my wife would find a best friend. And then Mm. even that I would find someone that I could do ministry with, not just like ministry from afar or someone that mm-hmm. knows that I do ministry, but someone that I could do ministry with. Like Link and, with. Yeah. Like in mm-hmm. little did I know that, you know, it'd be you. Right. And even in that time frame, I didn't realize it was going to be you. And then we go mm-hmm. out to Chipotle. We drive separate. Mm-hmm. We show up. And one of the first things, I don't know if you noticed or I noticed. I definitely wasn't me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the detail oriented you're person. Just, you're like food, Chipotle. Like, okay, what do you want means. from me? <laughs> um, and I noticed, uh, let's say me, but so I noticed that uh, our wives are wearing the same shoes. I'm pretty sure almost the identical shirt and yeah. like same colored pants. Yeah. And and I'm just like, and I bring it up to you and I'm like, bro, do you see our, our and they weren't even our wives. They're are our we, girlfriends. Are we dating? Are they're, we dating the same? Yeah, like we're, they were our girlfriends. Yeah. They weren't even mm-hmm. weren't engaged, nothing. Right. And it was just like, are we, why in the world? Like, do you see this? This is really weird. Do you see this? And then we bring it up to them and they go, <laughs> you know, they right, laugh right, and right, like right, giggle. Right. And, yeah. but I also think that was the moment where they're like, Oh, I like this girl. Uh, right. <laughs> Got the same taste. <laughs> Cause I see myself, <laughs> in her. myself in her. This is uh, all around just self. Yeah. Just selfish. You know, it was great glory in that. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And then we just had a great, a great time at Chipotle and conversation yeah. and realness seeing where we yeah. were. And, and even your wife and I connected because, you know, uh, her family, like I kind of grew up around her without, growing up around her, which was really weird. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. oh, you know them? Oh, that's your cousin? Like you totally oh, should have ran into each other at some point, but, but you never like, did. Never yeah. did. Mm-hmm. Or or she may have been there, but I never met her. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I talked about a graduation party. She's like, yeah, I was there. I was like, what? 
I don't know you were. Like, I, yeah, was, there I was there. Yeah. yeah. And it was just weird. That's strange. Um, but that's just, I love how the Lord does that stuff yeah. and re intertwines at the right time yeah. and like all these little things. And so, um, yeah, that was September 1st and 2016? Yeah. 16, yeah. yeah. 2016. We were so just, it's our official yeah. friend anniversary, yeah, really. anniversary. You so know? We, we, are, we call it the, the Four Amigos. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, Tara, Stephanie, Joey, and I, and we, our yep. group text message. That's a burrito on yeah, it. Yeah, from Chipotle. It was a Chipotle. Uh, yeah. So, so from that point forward, yeah, it's been a pretty crazy ride. You're, yeah, man. Yeah, it's been it's nuts. been a blessing. Yeah. It's been great. And now, yeah. not only not only is it us four, but we have our children yeah. and our kids um, love each other. Love each other. Yeah. They, yeah. your kids love us. Yeah. Our yep. kids love you. Yep. Um, you know, when they when Joey and Stephanie take walks. Uh, yep. Nova wants to come directly to our house because yep. like, oh, we're, we're neighbors we're, and we live next to each other. We're walking to my friend's yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. And if we don't, oh, it's a meltdown. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. She, and she, then my, my son too, he'll, you yeah. know, he, he's done the same thing and runs to your house and I have to pull him and Damn. drag him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's, it's been such a great blessing. Man. And, and I know I, I have to remind myself of this, that people don't usually have that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just you know, in the, in the way, in the fact that you know, we worked at the church, and then we, um, you know, step away from that, and and we could have parted separate ways because many our, times, our, many, yeah, many times, our connection was. You well, know, you were in Tampa, even you're in like right. your work was in Tampa. Right. You were in Ruskin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we once we and our friendship moved, was established enough outside of ch of work. Yeah, but 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 even then, like there, yeah. I mean, I've had many friends yeah. that if I'm not in their midst anymore, then mm -hmm. it just but. Our families, like Stephanie and you and Tara and I, mm -hmm. we've always just flocked to each other. And yeah. I, I, we really have something that um, just many people don't have. Yeah. And, and so then then we get blessed mm -hmm. by, you know, your yeah. father-in-law yeah. to be able to build houses next to each other mm -hmm. and to have our kids grow up yeah. the next... And I just op almost feel like it's just too good to be true. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm and just like, yeah. what the heck? And I have so many like just really good buddies that are all there too. Yeah. And like, I know people that dream, you know, it's on TikTok. You want to go buy a piece of land and be neighbors? Right. And I'm like, I look at it, I'm like, I'm wait like, a minute. Wait a minute. I literally have my <laughs> childhood best friend lives across from right. me. I have my college best friend that lives in front of me. I have my first ministry job, best friend live in front of me. Like, right. this is weird. Right, right, and right. like, and then his sister lives beside, like, it's just, we, it's like one of those things you're like, this is just different. And whenever you're in it, you don't think it's like rare. You don't think it's odd. You don't think it's well, unique. Well, eventually you get used to it. But I think, you know, before we even got there um, and to be here. So this is the other thing that's just super crazy about this mm -hmm. September 1st, 2016 is that now we are recording this at an office space Come that on. is right next to our home. This is a, yeah. this is a, a, mi li a literal, I think it's less than 60 seconds away yeah. from our house. And the Lord has been orchestrating stuff for such a long time. Yeah. I mean, we need, to, we need to say that like two episodes ago, three episodes ago, we were talking about like, hey, be praying with us right. because we need an office space. And mm -hmm. not even two days later, uh, we drove past a sign um, and it said office space available. And we thought it was like at a trailer with other mm -hmm. people. And we're like, nah, that's just not going to work. We yeah. need something very unique. We need something different because we're not just trying to have a office space for a podcast. We're not just trying to have an office space to do, you know, this, like it's, it needs to be very unique. It needs to fit our, our, our criteria. Right, right, right. And, and then literally. And it can't be we, too expensive. Yeah, it can't be too expensive because we don't have any money. Yeah, because a lot of what we're doing is, is really just ministerial. <laughs> Yeah, we're not. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it's just so crazy. So it's really cool. Yeah. So to commemorate this yeah. seven year, there's something cool about seven years come on, too. Come on. Let's go. Come I didn't on. even think about that. Come on. There's something really cool about commemorating this mm -hmm. this date, recording this podcast mm -hmm. at an office space where we just rearranged I mean, our desks again. We little, and yeah, rearranged our desk. It's not perfect. It, yeah. it has like, I mean, you, we'll do a reel. Don't worry. We'll like show you the space of what it looked like before. Mm -hmm. it, it looks so different. Mm -hmm. I mean, 1980s carpet, like mm -hmm. white, white walls. Yeah. Like it was holes all over the place. And yeah. we're just, we've just been slowly remodeling and slowly putting our money into it. And just like, all right, Lord, we feel this call, this purpose to do something that's different than you and I ever thought we would be doing. Right, right, right. And, and then God's just continuing to- and Maybe also something we always thought we would be doing. Yeah, I mean, five years ago- We talked about we it. We talked about starting yeah. a podcast, but 
five years ago, we would have never thought we had an well, office space. And it goes beyond like, that too. Like it goes beyond the podcast, I think as well. Um, of course, a, the podcast is a big part of this. Yeah. Um, but uh, actually, I think this is a, a good time to read this because uh, this is what this is everything that we do, guys. Mm-hmm. You know, with the podcast, with every, every endeavor that we have that yeah. we're trying to do with this office to serve the church, to serve mm-hmm. people. Um, even the people that are with us today mm-hmm. here in this office, which is, which you is can't so see them, weird. You can't you ha- see them, but, but we have a couple people and even people that aren't even here that have been just with us and helping. Keegan is behind and the camera right yeah, now. We yeah. have Emily was helping us with a bunch of things today. Yeah. And, and um, the Lord dropped them at the right time into this place. Yeah. He, like he's talking to multiple people about what he's doing. And just it's in a weird, like he's talking, wait, what? What is he doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Lord? Yeah, like, this yeah. is weird. Like you're bringing someone on the team that we don't even have anything. We don't have a team. We don't have any money. We have nothing to give, <laughs> but you want to give. And I'm just like, I'm so grateful to you, Keegan. Like, I'm so grateful for you yeah. and the skills and the, where you're at and what yes. you've already brought for a few yeah. days helping us. And yeah. like, like, it's just to see what the Lord is doing yeah. And just a, we want to remain humbly submitted to him mm-hmm. in all things and just bring and Just Jesus watch him work. And just like, yeah. we just want to be faithful yeah. and we want to produce fruit that lasts. Yeah. That's our goal. There you go. So, so let me read this. So this it, is Psalm 1 and I'll, I'll read it for you guys because this is, this is a foundation for us here at the Prolific Podcast. It says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted Mm. by stream of waters, streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaves never wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not sin in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish." And so, hmm. so, so I, I want to say this, bro. On September first, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm getting a little knot in my throat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little, a little emotional a little, right now. <clears throat> something's in my eye. If, if I could no. press this button, I would. <laughs> there would be a button that would start clapping or crying here. I'm just so grateful mm. for you and your wife. Mm. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Woo. Mm. We don't, we don't have to cut this. I do. Okay. Can we just, the shorts, <laughs> we're not going to post this one, Emily. Don't, don't edit this part. Yeah. yeah. I'm so grateful because mm. when you look at a blessed life and when you look at, mm. whew, wow, the Lord just like hit me, bro. <laughs> The Lord's grace is in the people that he gives us. Yeah. For the good times, we've, we've had many. Yeah. For the bad times, yeah. for loss, sickness. We're just grateful, bro. Yeah. I want to kill you almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh, man. But I want to murder you. I want to murder you all day. day. It's, uh, but I just. Uh, uh, but it's good, man. Yeah. It's just. God is so good. Just, I, I shed tears. I cry because. God is mm. so good. He's so good. And the reality is that everybody you encounter, even in the church and in your Christian life, they're not, not everybody remains. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not everybody is mm-hmm. meditating on the law of the Lord day and night and wanting to honor him and please him. And I'm aware today that the life of my wife and myself and our marriage, our marriage Mm -hmm. of our children, of so many different things, like it is blessed, it is better. It bears fruit, this kind of fruit, because Mm -hmm. we are in the company of the right Mm -hmm. people. Yeah. 
Oh, man. So I was not planning to cry. This is not for YouTube. I promise you that because <laughs> we don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is probably it, the first time takes, this happened. I'll say it takes, it takes a good bit to make us cry. Uh, and, and man, just like looking back seven years ago, like to see that the Lord was answering a prayer in a way that we, that I had no idea. I had no idea that I would need your wife for my wife through a miscarriage six years later, right? five years later. Right. I had no idea. Right, right, I had right. no idea that I would need my college best friend that had a miscarriage prior to that right. to just say, how do you handle this right, as right. a husband? Like, I don't, I, I just don't know. And, yeah. and God, it's almost like he knows what he's doing if we submit our yeah. lives to him and even in the unknown, I mean, you said something joking around because we're, we're trying to do something very unique and very different that we can't even share on this podcast yet because it's just, it's not ready. We don't even know what like, it we is. We don't yet. even know exactly what it is, but God is right. doing something. And, and you said something because I'm such a, um, the, the Lord can give me vision and direction, like all this stuff up front and like all right. of these things up there and I can see it. And I tend to, once he gives me a vision or a direction, I tend to try to work backwards from that. Right, right, right. Like I tend to be like, okay, so. Cool. Oh, so the that's finish, the, the so finished that, in product. Other words, that's the end. Yeah, yeah, so this is the end. So summer camps, you know, when I was planning summer camps, it was, right. all right, hey, my goal is 100 students or 80 students and 25 leaders. And okay, so how do I need to work back from there? All right, right I have 40 leaders, so I need to get, I need to talk to 57 for the statistic of getting 45%, like all of these little things to say yes. And like, okay, this is what I need to do. Da, 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 da. And then this Lord like drops this vision on us that is, I'm like, I'm like trying to see where it ends and there's no end. Mm -hmm, and I'm like, mm -hmm. well, where do I start if there's no end? Mm -hmm. And you said something a little bit before we started the podcast of like, well, if there's no end, like there's no, you, you can't start working backwards without faith. No, you, you can't walk, you, can't work, in, you can yeah. walk by faith when you know the end yeah. and walk backwards. Yeah. You, you, it's a beautiful place to be when you the beautiful have unknown. no idea yeah. where the road will finally take yeah. you. And of course yeah. we know the final, final right. end, right? It's, which is Jesus, Jesus, which is yeah, like, that's a very, that's a very obvious to the word, mm -hmm. which obviously it still takes faith, right? Right, right? But whenever the Lord starts giving you this vision or this direction, this step, yeah. you know, whether I turn to the right or left, I'll hear a voice and say, walk in it, you know, this yeah. way. And so like, we're just trying to be faithful with what is, what, what is in front of us. Yeah. We're like what God has been doing has been something you and I could have never dreamed, yeah. never seen, which yeah. is and for still me, only seeing it. Which is for me, for me and my personality. I don't know about anyone else, but mm -hmm. for me and my personality, like I almost need to be able to like see enough so then I can like, okay, Lord, this is the direction I'm gonna start moving. Mm -hmm. When right now, all we see is we need to put a mic in front of our mouse. And we need to talk about the goodness of God. And that's a part of it. Like, it's not like, even... Like, okay, yeah. we need to share growth for husbands mm. and marriages and wives and children and parenting. And okay, but mm -hmm. how does that look? How do we do that? Yeah. And then we have our, our real estate and our marketing business. And we mm -hmm. have all of these things like, okay, God. And, and little do people know that you had a prophecy over you. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've talked about it on the podcast at all. Probably but there's, shouldn't. There's, yeah. yeah. Um, but there, you know, there's a prophecy that spoke over you and, mm -hmm. and that happened to be that this year, she, like you looked back whenever we like got into the office, you're like, wait a minute. I think the prophecy said something about like all of the things that I've been working on or all the coming things together. coming together into mm -hmm. one year. And that's exactly what we're like beginning mm -hmm. to see. And yeah. you know, there's, it's just, we're seeing God's kindness and his fierceness mm -hmm. in like a, like a different way. Like, like, like for he's me, for us kind like, of thing. like, like you're seeing you're I, I'm continuing to see that. I think when I was younger, I played the defensive mm -hmm. in the faith, a, a responsive, like mm -hmm. a, 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 re, a reactive faith where, oh, there's sickness, I need to react to it. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we just had a, had a conversation with a church about something like this, but to where most of my faith when I was younger was reactive, mm -hmm. where it was like, oh, my friend's sick. Oh, um, this is happening. Oh, I'm struggling with pornography. I need to be reactive. To mm -hmm. that. I need to not do that, right? Mm -hmm. Where I feel like God now recently in me for the past two or three years has been stirring this, like the gates of hell 
will not prevail. Like more and more and more. Like I knew that in ministry. I knew that when I was a youth pastor and I was, come on, the gates of hell will not prevail. Let's push forward for the kingdom and da, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. But, but recently God has like, like bringing that forth in me. In other like, words, like, just to, exp to exp expound a little bit on what Joey's saying is, what he's saying is, is not the gates of hell coming against the gates of heaven. Correct. It is, it is heaven's force heaven's coming force against the gates of hell. Coming against the gates mm -hmm. of hell. Where re, like we see this, we see most of our faith of like, at least I did. Well, actually where, the Bible well, says it will not prevail against the church. Correct. So it's actually the church, the church charging against the, the gates of hell. That yeah. is attacking the gates of hell. Yeah. And, but yet for some reason we see it when we read that scripture, at least I did for so long, I read it in the way of like, Oh, the gates of hell are coming against us. The demons are attacking us and we won't prevail. We're strong. We're steadfast because you take Ephesians and you take that Ephesians to stand firm against the enemy. Right. And you're like, yeah, that's right here. But then you read that and you're like, wait a minute, that scripture's an action. That's saying that there is an action mm -hmm. being taken against the gates of hell. And so I just feel like the Lord is like continually oh, the like, like reminding us to stop sitting. Not, not that we've been idle or not that I've been idle per se, like mm -hmm. sitting and not moving or not being active in the kingdom, but just mm -hmm. like, like just, just, it's time to, time to pick up the sword of the spirit well, it's, it's and the shield too. of faith. Yeah. Come on. And time yeah. to, time to wear the armor of God. Like why did the Lord give us a sword? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't he just give us a shield? Mm -hmm. Like, why didn't he just, oh yeah, here's a shield oh, of faith a and keep rocking. Just a shield, for right? Sure. Right. Like, just shield of faith, all oh, the quenches of the arrow, oh, okay, all the schemes of the enemy. And like, hey, hey, it's hey, just hey, faith, 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 which absolutely, mm -hmm. you need that. Like, that's very critical. Mm -hmm. But there's an offense mm -hmm. says to move forward, to press mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. And I feel and like it might, not, that, it might not look on the earth the way we expect it to look, mm -hmm. but but it's still charging forward. Like Paul was in a jail cell charging forward. Come on. Chains you know were being saying? broken in a jail cell. Things were being shaken. Jail men, like they were being saved. Mm -hmm. like, Even guards who thought they were going to lose their lives. Come on. Because, with Peter. Right. With right. The, you know what I'm saying? It it's like, changed. he's like, no, no, no. Or, or I forget if it was Paul, but I, either of them. And, they, and the disciples like, no, 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 we're still here. Yeah. Which is, is so funny escape. to me. Which is so funny to me. They're like, like, is it, isn't it an earthquake? An earthquake, like, like yeah, opens like in the middle of the everything, dark or opens like everything. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the guards wake up or they come in and they see all the doors open and they're like, okay, we're going to die. Well, they're going to take their lives because they're like, they were going to die. Yeah. Because, like, because their, their, their chiefs would murder them, yeah. would kill them for losing all these people. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The are like, no, 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 we're, no char bro, we're, we're charging forward. We're, we're chilling still here. We're chilling. We're worshiping. We're good, bro. I don't really need to be free. I'm like, I'm freed physically, but yeah. bro, I've been free spiritually. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, bro, I've been, I've been in freedom. Come on, and, man. And I think, that, and I think yeah. that way to bring it back to September 1st, 2016, yeah. I think one of the ways to kind of focus on today as we, as we, you know, kind of yeah. finish this podcast is that one way to charge forward as a Christian is to have really great friendships. Mm -hmm. And one, friendships one, that actually do cost you something. And, yes. We, and, and friendships yeah. and, and friendships that are yoked in like in the church. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you are a body mm -hmm. of Christ, um, that's a, a way to charge forward. That is a way to grow mm -hmm. in your faith. Like, I mean, it was what, what was it, two days ago? We were like <laughs> working on something for a church. And we're like, my last sentence before I left the, the office was, every time you say that, it makes me want to punch you in the nose. <laughs> and it's not because I don't love and Joey. I'm like, I'm like, well, every time you say this makes me want to punch you in the nose. And, and, it was just, and so we get home because what's so funny is oh my both, God. it's like both, being married. We, oh, we leave the office. We drive 60 seconds away to our house and we see each other again because, of course, our kids are playing in my playground. They're literally playing together. <laughs> and, and you come out and your wife notices that you're just heavier than yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I like I just stay in my house for like three more minutes. And I'm like, <laughs> you're like, I need a second. I need to still go over there because my kid's over there. And I was like, I still have to go over there. And I'm no, walking but in the grass. But that's such yeah. a real moment. Yeah. That's such a real moment where your maturity in Christ yeah. is it, either exists or it doesn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like, and I, re I remember I walked over to you and I'm like, then and again, we, this is we like, dabbed up and said, we hey, leaving it at work. Le left it at the office. Yep. Right. Yeah. And we okay, said, yeah. Cool. And then All we right. picked up and let's goofed push our kids off on the and, swings. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and sure. Were we annoyed? Sure. Was it yeah. frustrating? 
sure. Was it yeah. like, I can't believe, rah, 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 and your flesh is like, rah, 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 yeah. he's so, rah, 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 I can't believe, yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah. Rah, rah. Oh, I was like, so frustrated. Yeah, and it's Even like, my, Tara asked me in the, in the house, yeah. she's like, hey, are you mad at me or something? I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not you. I'm mad at Joey. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Stephanie I, did the same. No, Stephanie was really? like, you, you've had a long week. And, it, and I was like, yeah, I've had a long week. It's been free. <laughs> and, and I'm like, but it's been fine. I've just been, things are just, it's compiling. We but had it makes hurricane. you better. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you better. And, and I think the moments that are good, you, um, not good, but in the moments when, when you are in, in. We're doing good, by the I way. I know. This hey, like, look at that, man. I think up, we're going to finish. Yeah. Um, whenever you are spiritually discerning, mm. we can look at each other. And this happens with the body. It's not just mm-hmm. us. It's with, with people around you that, that God is calling you to maybe reconcile with or mm-hmm. love and just to re- reclaim friendships and connections and just being family. Yeah. Listen, guys, the Bible, the Bible has not called us to be friends. Mm. The Bible has called us to be family. Mm. We are family with God. We are, we are one body. Mm. The standard is so high. We don't even... Mm-hmm. We don't even really understand this standard. Which it's, which it's hard sometimes because some people have, I'll be completely frank, like some people have had very poor family relationships, poor family communication. Like they've, right. they've seen family, like when you're angry, you disappear, you run. Mm-hmm. They've seen where when family happens, you do this. Mm-hmm. But in reality, healthy family, mm. there actually is some conflict. There is some rub, but it's course, communicated yeah. well. Healthy family, because unhealthy family has no hide conflict. It. Things get yep. neglected rug, or ignored, or um, yeah. or it's just hidden. Yeah, like like it's just completely hidden. Or hidden. And and or or there's some. Again, I've talked about my family. Like my family, I've never seen my parents fight. But mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that they've never been in conflict. Yeah, like yeah. like like I've 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 been in plenty of conflict with my mother mm-hmm. and my father. But mm-hmm. now on the other side, I which I've talked about before, like where I thought mm-hmm. if there was conflict, there was something wrong mm-hmm. because there was so, it sounds funny, but there was so much health mm-hmm. where, because they handled it mm-hmm. by themselves that I was like, oh, so when there is any conflict, it's mm-hmm. bad. And then I have a buddy that was like, he never saw a day without them fighting. Well, this and is it the was thing. unhealthy. Like, we need to know? talk about conflict. Yeah. When it comes to friendship, like, I, and I'll say like, this is the reason why I get emotional. The reason why I get emotional, man, is because the longer I live, the more I understand that nobody is exempt from ro- walking away mm-hmm. from God's favor and grace yeah. and from him turning his face. Mm-hmm. Because when, whenever we are islands in the ocean mm-hmm. and we don't have anybody to have good conflict with us mm-hmm. about walking the right way with him, mm-hmm. with the Lord, it's so easy to just drift away, you know? And mm-hmm. the, re- the reason why I'm grateful and the reason why when I shed tears um, is because I, after seeing many people fall away, mm-hmm. after seeing, seeing many people, um, you know, the way the scriptures that, that describe it, have their faith ship, shipwrecked mm-hmm. because they violate their conscience. Yeah. yeah, I understand that I am simply at the mercy of God's grace mm-hmm. for the, not only for my walk with him, but for the people he provides for me mm-hmm. to check me and to, mm-hmm. and to lovingly sh- you know, cut me and mm-hmm. sharpen me, right? And so, like, like with like with Stephanie. For, okay, I'll give you an example, mm-hmm. bro. Stephanie comes after me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love you, honey. But imagine being married to that beautiful uh, woman. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and like, and like everything. Like, we all have our flaws yeah, and our strengths, yeah. right? And like, and we. I've had moments yeah, where Steph, where yeah. I'm like, all right, Steph, I think yeah. you're coming after me way too much. But yeah. But, but you also but she's have the, also looking yeah, out yeah. for my wife yeah. and for her friend. She loves your wife more than she loves you. Correct. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, and, and like, oh, yeah. And, yeah it's there's like, no doubt. Yeah. I think everybody loves my wife more than love me. But that's that's a different conversation. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is just lovable. But 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 what it is is that our marriage truly is better mm-hmm. because I'm in the presence of people that I can't BS. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I don't want to try to. Mm-hmm. Like the Lord's given us something that is authentic and sincere enough that I think you guys can tell when even when something's mm-hmm. off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I wish, man, I desperately I wanna I wanna say this to somebody on this podcast that you're not gonna grow if you keep people at a certain distance. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not going to be lovingly push towards Jesus if you just keep people behind a certain boundary of mm-hmm. intimacy mm-hmm. where they don't really, really know you. They just mm-hmm. know this like good version mm-hmm. of like the whole picture. Like, mm-hmm. no, there's, there is a necessity in the body of Christ 
for mm. your soul, for the sake of your soul. Mm-hmm. Bro, Paul says even, he's like, I don't want to be disqualified of this salvation yeah. by preaching it. Yeah. Like he's, yeah. he's saying like, even in the midst of me doing this work, I could be disqualified, yeah. you know? And, and it's like, it's just so profound the effect that, for, first of all, the, the, the proneness that us, our hearts have to, to wander mm-hmm. and how necessary the body is yeah. to keep us grounded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm so grateful for how my wife is a better wife because of your, mm-hmm. uh, your wife. Amen. I'm, wait, I'm grateful how she is a, a better mom because of your wife. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful for how I'm a better dad because of you, a better mm-hmm. friend because of you, a better husband mm-hmm. because of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm better. And, and with all the people that surround us, right? Mm-hmm. Like we have Nate yeah. and Amanda. My yeah. gosh, like just like the sweetest, like sweetest we, people yeah. Yeah. Um, that I learned to serve from them. Yeah. You know, Chris and Sarah and the lessons that we learned from them and Aaron mm-hmm. and Brooke and everybody. It's like, what a gift. Yeah. And I think we can finish this with this. Like yeah. what a gift friendship is. Yeah. Right. And that, like, that phileo love that the Lord has created, you know, that longing for friendship. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's different than a wife. It's different than, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it is, it is this camaraderie. Mm -hmm. It is this collaboration. It is this bumping against each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and find, find someone like, I, I know we're up and I'm landing. I promise. Like find someone that you can sharpen iron with. Yeah. That you cling with. Like iron sharpening iron is a spark. It's clinging. It's, yeah. it's, there's going to be things, there's going to be moments just because you have a bumpiness with someone, it doesn't mean maybe that friendship is over or just because they're sharp or they have a bad day. It doesn't mean it's over. Like the, the biggest step mm. I believe in any friendship is if they are pursuing the king on their own mm-hmm, mm-hmm. without needing you to drag them, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And then they're, and you are pursuing the Lord mm-hmm. without it. Like if one of you are in the wrong, mm-hmm. if you are humble and, um, you, yeah, and humility, you trust bro. the person, because mm-hmm. that's that comes into everything. Like there are moments that I genuinely want to stab you in the arm. I know. And, and like, and there's Likewise. moments you want to <laughs> cut my foot off. Again, almost and, every day. Yeah, every day. At least one time. And at least once a day. <laughs> but the thing is, is that we both go back to... I trust him mm, bro. more it's, than it's, more than almost any like uh, like like I trust my wife more than anyone. Mm-hmm. I trust my parents more than anyone. Like there's people in your lives that you trust yeah, and like a to a certain level, right? But there is you have to find a person or a, a few people that you can trust in areas of your life yeah. that maybe it is your work where you can just download the pain from work or it's it's in your spiritual walk that you can just download your mm-hmm, spiritual mm-hmm. walk like find those people and it sounds crazy when I say it, but hold that thing so tightly mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because it's precious. Yeah. Now, if the Lord tells you to let go, you need to let go because right. there's been friends that I have held so tightly because I'm like, this is what I need in this season right now. And, right. Right, right, right. and then God shifts me from like, that season's coming to an end. And you're like, oh, but I don't want or that or that. that that person doesn't seek me anymore. Yeah. Or that or it's that, that person's serving a different master now. Yep. And you and yep. you have to discern throughout mm-hmm. your life. Come on. What in what company am I going to be? Right? Mm-hmm. Again, someone. Yeah. Am I going to be in the company of mockers and scoffers mm-hmm. and the people that serve different masters? Or do I do I want to be by the river? By the river, right? Yep. So I'll I'll close this with this. Yeah. Before we move together. Um, or next to each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have sister wives yet. That'd be weird. <laughs> Ew. Not together. <laughs> Nothing like that. Uh, we moved next to each other. Um, the my wife had a dream mm-hmm. that the closest, the closer we walked to the Rogeros, in the dream, the more we saw trees flourishing, mm-hmm. and and I think that is a good representation of a good way of a good formula for life. Mm move closer towards the people that want to have a strong loyalty for God mm. so that you will flourish and so that you will bear fruit. Right. And yeah. like, I think that that's the, that is the, the, the main, the core thing mm-hmm. where you need to look in your friendships. And, and what I was going to say is this again, aside from the friendship thing, like I want to kill you almost every day <laughs> because you're my brother, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like that's a brother thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you don't want to kill friends. You want like, you want to like, again, playfully, you want to, you want to, Hit upside beat and him hit your up. brother, right? I mean, you see him and you want to slap him around a little Be- bit, you know? Because, because it's a it's a different kind of closeness. Yeah. It's a different kind of yoking. Yeah. And so um, so hey, happy September 1st, 2016. Love you, buddy. 
<laughs> love you, man. Yeah, man. Um, and uh, hey, we love you guys. Yeah. And this is going to continue to evolve. Yeah, it's going to get better and better and better. Keep Thank you guys open. for listening. And hey, I'm going to say it. I've never said this and I hate saying this, but if the Lord puts it on your heart, we will accept donations for us to get better and better in this podcast hey. because we feel the call that we're supposed to continue to do this mm -hmm. and whatever it is if the lord puts something on your heart mm -hmm. like i don't want to stop the blessing on your life because the lord tells you to do something that's good i normally say no to stuff and i have said no to things i'm like no 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 no, no. we're doing mm -hmm. this because we want to do this because of this mm -hmm. but like i don't want to rob you from the blessing because that's good God has actually told you. So I'm not going to tell you to not be obedient to the mm. Lord. And that's really hard for me of all people. Oh, it's really, okay. really hard so for I'll, me. I'll, I'll, I'll help on. So you're not by yourself on this. So I'll tell, I'll speak about, I'll say this to old people that are older and married and who have mm. seen God's fruit in their life. Um, if you feel led to sow into our, what we're doing, mm -hmm. which is essentially fight for families. Yeah. That's what yep. we're doing. Yep. We're just fighting yep. so that the, our generation and the, the generations to come would have a right view of marriage, yep. would have a right view of parenting, would yep. have a right view of living life for Relationships. Christ. And if you yep. feel like you look around and you don't see enough people fighting for this, mm -hmm. we want you to know that this is actively what we wake up every single day mm -hmm. to try to figure out how can yeah. we do this. And so we're, I, we're feel, sowing, I feel an to yeah. tell you, Come on. And, and I feel very confident to tell you, like if you wanna sow in a ministry that's doing that, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And um and we're just trying to yeah. sow we're trying to sow into relationship marriage every day. And right now we're doing real estate, we're doing marketing mm -hmm. to fund that. Mm -hmm. We're doing that stuff to fund the ministry. Mm -hmm. And and we are trying to be obedient to the Lord. Yeah. And little do we know what God has. Mm -hmm. Little do we know. But <laughs> but I'm down for the ride. Let's do it. Let's be fruitful. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Deuces. Bye.